little thing. Oh, but yeah, here we go. I just before you set sail, do you have any questions you wanted to ask me? Uh, yeah, how do I steal this freaking thing? So I do I steal this thing? I never thought I'd hear you ask something like that. <laughs> Nevertheless, pay close attention. Okay, move forward, backward, turn left and right as well. By pressing R and L buttons, R button will be the ship, R and L will lower it, C stick works as well. When you want to search anything on, or whenever you want to dock at a harbour, just press the A button. Okay. Uh, don't laugh at me, Dad, uh, Captain, but I come on the way home. Can you show me where to go? I think it's meant to become a good sailor if you don't pay attention to where you are. It's at southeast from here. I don't know, it's the only one you see it. Hopefully you get lost. Hopefully, if you get lost, you can look at the map using the white button. So you run into monsters in the cage when you're sailing. If you do so, run out on a deck and take them out. One word of warning. There are these monsters called Marokas that live around here. They're pretty tough. If you're not doing much damage to your enemy, try hitting the Y button and change properties of your weapon. It might work better. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Southeast from here, they said. So, uh, this way. Whoa, what the... Through these islands. What the hell? Ah, that's the uh, Maraca. Okay. That's called Looper. That's called a Gassing. Yeah. Damn. Ah, oh, it's like a sky. It's like a Nautilus in the sky. Okay then. Haha, huh. -ha, got him. It's one down. Yep, just as the dad said. Oh, I ah, oh, that's how you change properly the weapon. All right. Yeah, uh, keep it green. Since my counter attack did uh, fuck all damage. Well, her attack didn't do much. Less. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> I quite like that mechanic. It changed the um. I'm gonna press the interaction buttons. When you come and spins, that means there's a discovery nearby. Oh, that's. Oh, okay. Whoa. The uh, dad didn't say anything, so I didn't didn't know. But now I'm curious. What is this discovery we passed? Fish. <laughs> oh shit! Maybe I shouldn't have caught this fish. Oh god, damn! There's a lot of them now. Ouch. Yeah, that one's right next to me and it seems 
It seems that they're weak to being, uh... Being attacked up close, but not far away. Ooh. Nice. I assume catching the fish was uh, something of benefit. Either money or whatever. Back. There we go. I said earlier, this reminds me of Grandia, where your characters move along on the battlefield. The magic experience based on the mental weapon properties that. Oh, that's why that randomly went up. Right, now I get it. So, either you want to have different properties for each of your character so you can level up as many magic skills as one. Good point. Though I am early level at the moment, and these creatures are not going down very easily. There we go. But yeah, now I understand why. Uh, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, now I understand why I was getting experience like that. Which again reminds me of Grandia because um, instead of getting it for wet items, though, you got it for. Uh, Nope, can't get any higher. Oh, that's what it is. We found the pirate's grave. Oh, here we go. It appears that someone has scribbled onto the stone. Here lies an unknown blue rogue. That your name has been worn away by the wind, but the first letter D can still be made out. Nobody remembers who rests here. Ooh. Wait, that legendary pirate's grave? Good job, Vice. I'm sure the pirates, the Sailor's Guild would be more than happy to pay you for making this discovery. Guild? Paying you for a discovery? Which as well as Uncharted and Shroud and Legend. Ruins, strange creatures, all sorts of things that won't be discovered. Any major port city will have a Sailor's Guild to pay explorers well for any information to Oh, okay. You're flying through the skies and your compass starts spinning around. Y yeah, you could have told me that earlier, Toy. <laughs> Dine. That means there's a discovery nearby. Try searching the area, you'll probably find a discovery. So do the sailor's guild afterwards and click the reward. But the longer you wait, the greater the chance that someone else will beat you to it. So you should visit the guild as soon as you can. Now that makes sense. Green is good magic to level because the healing and also the poison magic. Oh, okay. Oh, my no, 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 I enjoy it. I, I'm I welcome it. I caught some fish! Oh shit. No, I enjoy it. I mean, I put on my stream that I'm over there hearing, uh, you know, that I want to hear, uh, that I want to hear from people, so, you know. Especially as I didn't really know what to do, because as I'm emulating, I don't have a, uh, a, um, manual on me, so I don't have actually know any of the moves of that. <laughs> but no, no, it's it's very welcome, don't you worry. So don't you worry, you're very welcome here. Very welcome to uh, make any suggestions, uh, make suggestions on that. Haha! <laughs> okay, these things are quite easy then. If you hit him. Now normally for in games that this early you don't really, you don't normally have that many hit points. 
in like a Final Fantasy game, that would have killed you. <laughs> no, I said it's it's welcome. Don't you worry. It's welcome to have an explanation. It really helps. I don't even get pissed off if you were saying this happens later or something. You know, something along those lines. Bam! <laughs> no, I won't spoil anything. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Like I say, I got no, got no problems with you uh, helping me in that because, uh, like I said, I got no instruction manual and it didn't really tell me anything about. Oh, if the thing spins, you interact with it. Only until I, until you said that, and then I went back and checked it out. So no, I'm fine with that. If you weren't asking me, I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> well, that's that's also the reason why I play these games, Steve, is that I like to go and go into it blind. Hey, Fina, how are you feeling? Don't go jumping off the ship now. I'm feeling much better. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> no problem. I'm just happy to see that you're well. Looks like we'll be reaching the island soon. Island? You can see it right over there. That's our base. Pirate Isle. Very subtle. <laughs> Pirate Isle. Yes, if it's called Pirate Isle, then surely black pirates come here as well as uh, blue rogues. What the hell is that purple thing? <laughs> like some sort of giant cat. I don't know, black pirates and blue pirates are enemies. Oh, right. I kind of get, I kind of guess that considering, considering black pirates are, from the sound of it, more like the really nasty sort of pirates who will, will, you know, uh, rob, steal, rape, burn things down. You know, attack anyone, anything. Whereas uh, the blue rogues, pretty much both, they'll only attack ships that are armed and can actually defend themselves. It's supposed to be life of the blue pirates, which was difficult because uh, taking down unarmed ships is going to be much easier to take down an armed, a fully armed one. If I remember the back of the box, because I remember seeing this game in the shops, and I really wanted it, but I didn't have a GameCube, so I was a bit fucked in that area. But thanks to the world of emulation, I have this game. <laughs> and I can finally enjoy it. Because I heard good things about it, which also pissed me off even more I didn't have a GameCube. Wow, that's a lot of treasure. <laughs> 